Our final award uh, this evening is the Distinguished Service Award, uh, which was first presented in 1949 to recognize outstanding alumni who have made personal and professional contributions to society and to Washburn. Since that time, 219 alumni have received the award. Tonight, we will, we will add two more to the list. Our first honoree is Brigadier General Deborah Rose. Deborah served in the Air Force for 28 years and became the highest ranking female to serve in the Kansas National Guard. She led at all levels of the 190th Air Refueling Wing of the Kansas Air National Guard, was promoted to Brigadier General in 2007, and was director of the Joint Force Headquarters, responsible for Homeland Security missions for the Kansas National Guard. Deborah received several awards, including the Legion of Merit and the Meritorious Service Medal with four Bronze Oak Leaf Clusters. She retired from the military in 2011. Alongside her military service, she was a nurse at the Culinary O'Neill Veterans Administration Medical Center. She served the Washburn University Alumni Association and Foundation as a director and trustee and as a member of the Washburn Women's Venture Partners and Minoso. She and her siblings fund a Washburn Women's Alliance Scholarship in their mother's honor. She was a Washburn Alumni Fellow in 2007 and received an honorary doctor of public service from the university in 2012. Alumna and friend Cynthia Heath said, Deborah is a mainstay of the foundation, providing an important role as a uh, board director, supporting everyone else, and contributing to the success of Washington University. She makes a difference everywhere she serves. Family members Joe, Jess, Tyler, Andrew, Kenzie, and Nathan said, We are so very proud of you and all the accomplishments your hard work has afforded. You are an inspiration to all of us. Congratulations on this most distinguished award. We hope you know how loved you are and how honored we are to be such, uh, be a part of such a special person's journey. Deborah, for your dedication to your career, our community, and to Washburn, we are honored to present you with this distinguished service award. Deborah. Well, I am extremely humbled and and appreciate that I'm receiving this award tonight. So I I really want to tell Susie Hoffman and the association how much I appreciate this. I as as Laura said earlier today when we had brunch, she said, Yes, I know who you are. You've had a lot of awards from Washburn. And <laughs> I, I have. I, I'm very grateful for each and every one of them. Thank you to my family. I have uh, both of our children, their spouses, five of the six grandchildren, um, one girlfriend uh, from who's who's the oldest grandson's uh, girlfriend, both of my sisters, and another friend from uh, down in the local Orbit area. So thank you all for being here, and for all my friends that are out in the audience, thank you so much. I, I also want to thank Katrina Olson for all of the work that she did with a big family like this. It was kind of like, um, like trying to guide a uh, cat. Yes. <laughs> so, but she did a really great job. I, I kind of have to go back to the beginning of my my education life after I graduated from high school. I actually wanted to come to Washburn. My mother didn't like the people I was hanging out with, so she decided that she would send me out to a church college in the central part of the state. My oldest brother went there. He did great. He was an A student. He was on the on the football field. He was great. Um, my older, no, my next brother went, and he didn't do so well, so he went to the army. And when I went out there, it was horrible for me <laughs> because I was young. I was seventeen. I wouldn't be eighteen until December, so I was very young. I was very, um, I, I was just in way over my head. 
I feel like God had to have his hand in this because there were drugs there. I mean, I'm from Overbrook. We don't even, I, at that time, we didn't even know what drugs were. So kids that had been in the East Coast came, and that's where the drugs came from. If I had had any of those drugs, I never would have been able to join the Air Force. So all the way back to when I was 17 years old, I believe God was watching out for me. So I stayed for the whole year. I got four hours of A for a uh, musical that we did. I got F's and everything, but one class that I went to my teacher and told her that, you know, I just wasn't getting it. And she gave me a D instead of an F. <laughs> <laughs> but I left, I left there with, uh, with a grade point average of 0.002. <laughs> so, what, what brought me to Washburn? <laughs> Go 10, 10 years ahead of time, 20, 27. I was 27 years old. I was married, had two children, and we, the 190th, had a plane that crashed. And in that plane, there was a gentleman from Overbrook. And he and his wife and two year old daughter went to our church. And so I knew who they were. And so she had no means of taking care of her daughter. So she got to come to Washburn and go to college. And I took care of her daughter along with my two-year-old and my six-month-old. Um, that was a huge error on my problem, on, on, my, on my side, because that is not my forte in any way, shape, Not at all. My mother comes home over one evening, and my children are running around with um, Clorox and a knife, you know. <laughs> she said, Debbie, what is wrong with you? And I said, I just know that there's more in my life than this. <laughs> so I decided, and, and I, believe, I, I, I believe God had a hand in all of this. So. I decided I wanted to be a nurse. I never even thought about nursing before, but I decided I wanted to be a nurse. So I came to Washburn and I had my transcript because they Washburn said, if if you don't show us a previous transcript that you before you've gone to college, then we're, we'll kick you out. Well, that wasn't gonna happen because I was gonna be just as honest as I could. And so it was very interesting. They, they did take five of those classes and let me retake all of those. But everything else, so, you know, when I graduated and I was almost up to a 3.0, I was like a 2.9 something, uh, I felt like I did pretty good because I'm telling you, the nursing program is a really tough program. But I just, I came to Washburn. I was non-traditional, had two children, so I didn't get to do some of the things that you guys talk about. You talk about sororities and fraternities, and you know, I'm talking about diapers and bottles, and you know, what are the kids gonna eat for supper tonight? And so it was, it was all very interesting. Um, and so I became a nurse, I went to the VA, and then after I had served for six months, I could become an officer in the military. So I became a lieutenant, first lieutenant, second lieutenant, second lieutenant, <laughs> um, in the Air Force. And so I, that, was the, that was the love of my life. And I did that because I didn't want to get, I didn't want to get sick of being a nurse. I wanted something different to do in nursing. And being in the military and nursing, it's a whole lot different. There's there's a lot of different things that I had the opportunity to do. So I had been in the military. I left the VA in the middle, middle of the 1990s. And leadership out of the 190th had asked me if I'd like to leave the nursing corps and become a line officer or I'd be a commander. And so I thought that sounded like a really good idea, so that's exactly what I did. And I had kind of looked around the organization to see what where women were in in the ranks, 
And the highest ranking female I saw were two of the a doctor and a nurse at, in the medical group, and they were lieutenant colonels. And so I decided that I would broadcast that to the leadership that my goal was to be a general officer. I'm sure they thought I was nuts, but you know, I, I just feel like if you don't tell people what you want, they, you're never going to get it. So what did I have to lose? Not much of anything. But I was able to get take on jobs at, that were at different levels all the way through the organization. I think one of the greatest compliments I got, I just got at, when I went out to uh, change of command, is one of the women now is a colonel, and she's the vice wing commander. And she said, I'm the new Debbie Rose. <laughs> so I thought that was such a, such a Because they have so many females that have been promoted to colonel. And, you know, whether somebody becomes a general at some point in time, I, I don't know. But it's, it's always there and it's always a potential. Um, I can tell you that when I became a nurse, that, that is what clinched my leadership. I had so much opportunity as a nurse. To, to have leadership and to be able to express that leadership. And so I, I really feel like that's that was one of the really positive things. And I believe it was all in God's hands and his plan that I would be a general officer. And I thank him for that. And I, I really am honored to be in that position I think what I love about Washburn, I have gotten involved. As a student, I didn't get involved because I had children. But now is my opportunity to have a hand somewhere in Washburn University, being on the foundation um, and alumni association, Washburn Women's Venture Partner. I, I, I learned so much about Washburn being on the foundation and Washburn Women's Venture Partners. And I learned so much about Washburn and I am so thankful to, to be a part of this great organization. And thank you all so much. I appreciate being here. Thank you.